guys. So, the morning is 6 Jumping. I don't know. I have the CDs. I need this under by Cat Spear. Okay, don't move my face. I'm really, really washing my face. So they buy Cat Spear, and I thought the concept was really cool. So basically, it's an organic sponge, an organic konjac exfoliating sponge. One piece comes in it, and they're available on Amazon. Um, so this is how it looks. And this is how it comes. And it's a little pink string. So the directions read, soak the sponge in water. Allow three minutes to absorb water fully. Gently massage face in a circular motion with or without your favorite cleanser. Rinse the sponge after use and gently rinse the sponge after use and press it gently with your hands. Hang to air dry with the attached string. We recommend to replace every two months. So that's cool. And that's hygienic. So it says you can use it by itself or you can use it with cleansing. I just got in. I'm gonna let it soak for three minutes as they suggested. Just is that it foams. I don't really get a foaming feeling, but yeah, it's great. I haven't had any problems, no breakouts, no anything. Also, now the soft sponge is getting soft or more pliable, which is really cool. Okay, it doesn't smell like anything, which is great because it's said to be organic. This is made from pure konjac dietary fiber from the konjac plant. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Cat's Beer Konjac Sponge is a better choice for daily cleansing of oil, oily combination or normal skin. It gently cleanses your pores and makes your skin soft and smooth again. So maybe I should try it with, uh, oh this is the flavor bamboo charcoal. So I'm going to try it without the cleanser to get that full effect. So let's see if it's been three minutes. Yeah, it's been three minutes. We're going to run with that. So it says go in a circular motion. All right, we're not seeing anything, so we're gonna use a little bit of spine. It's oh yeah, I love it. It's from a brand called Humble Glow. I'm gonna tag her down below too. It's black on, so we cheat you out. What you mean? 
Nah, nah, don't cheese me. I don't care if it's 4B or 3C. Whether she Moesha or Nisi. If she got a wig done like Khaleesi. I know the effort it took wasn't easy. And I know that she ain't do it to please me. So I never try to put her beneath me. Imagine how a black girl feel when she's told that she ain't trying her best though. Just imagine how a black girl feel when she's told that she ain't follow a dress code. Just imagine how a black girl feel when you ask her if she bald headed. From men too, all the ignorant shit that had used to fly before it's all dead. Cause y'all bullshitting work. Every black person, black woman, black girl deserves the same privileges as our peers. So we deserve the right to go to work and to not be attacked. We deserve the right to have an education and to not be attacked. And we deserve the right to go for dinner with friends and not be expected to be the educator of all things black hair, black history, black hair care. gang back there. If you have children then so another know. thing I like to do is I don't like to dry my hair. I mean my face with a washcloth or paper towels or anything like that. I just got this cute little fan from Amazon and it's really cool. I seen the idea first from Jackie I know and it seemed really hygienic and made sense. Sometimes I put in so much work, pay so much money for my products, and then messing that up by vigorously wiping your face with somebody's funky rag, whether it's clean, not still, the whole bacteria. And in my opinion, this agitates the face. So, yeah. Fans for the win. So but yeah, first impressions of this sponge, I like it. I'm gonna try it again. With anything skincare, you have to try it for a little while to get the full effect. But so far, I love it. I love anything extra when it comes to the skincare routine. So I'm loving that. I think I'm gonna order some more if they do have any additional scents. Excuse me. This one was sent to me. So I love that for me. <laughs> but yeah, even though it was sent, I am giving you guys my honest opinion. And that's what next. So now we're gonna get on to the toning part. Oh uh, yeah, this now this is really sad. She wants everything to just be fast. No fuss, so when you're moving, you don't want to have to do too much. Boom. And it is fat. I mean, it's a little jet fat. For the most part. That's how I put on other toners anyway. And it's a good smell. I don't care for scent, but it's a really nice, calm. Almost like spa smell. And with any toner, I like to just pat it. My neck as well. And if I do rub, I go in an upwards motion because we're trying to defy gravity. That's how I go. So yeah, I'm gonna take my bonnet off. If you have some ghetto girl realness, a little bit of chapstick on. But yeah, so that's the toner. I like to get that a little dry down too. Try to be cute, these braids really hurt still. And I went to a local hair braiding shop near Fordham Road where I live. And that didn't leave a sticking film either, so that's a great start. And, oh no, yeah, lastly, I think it's called the Hydra Advisor. What's the name of that? 
a hydrolyzer invisible moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF 30, which is bomb. Get your SPF by any means necessary. But if you could get it in your moisturizer, why not? So I probably OD, but that's the consistency. I'm so gonna. Mmm, this smells good too. really thick and luxurious feeling Now, if you plan to put on any serums or anything like that, which is different steps, you can put it on before the moisturizer or after, then you probably should have put them on first. I personally put them on before the moisturizer, so if I was going to use like my vitamin C, then I would have put it on before that to like lock it in. I'm just going to go grab some lip balm or lip mask and that's done. So lastly, I have this Sweet Chef sugar cane plus vitamin E lip sleeping mask and prior to getting this one I was using the sleeping mask, I use my finger, it comes with a spatula but I use my finger. Um, prior to using this one I was using the one by Lani Edge, Lani Edge, I'll read it and I swore by it, I was taking that for my everyday use using the lip gloss but now that I have this one which is a little bit cheaper as well. I don't think I will ever go back. I'm gonna use it at seven o'clock. It says wake up the kids. That's when we was on the non-quarantine schedule, but I'm gonna go ship some packages for my small business that I started. So yeah, love that for me. So yeah, that's the finish. First impressions. I'm loving the moisturizer for sure, but the star of this show was that facial sponge. Like, I can't believe how convenient, how cool that was, how much it lather. Still got to get down to the bottom if the lather was from my stuff or from its own setup. But yeah, so there it is hanging, ready for me to use tomorrow morning. And I'll try to give you guys an update on if my thoughts remain the same. So like I said before, all of the information will be down below. And don't forget to like and show this video some love. And comment down below if you have and tried any kind of facial sponges or any kind of product similar. Or if you tried the one from Cat Spear.